Hi guys, welcome to Websense Pro. Welcome to another video. Welcome to our latest playlist for Figma beginners. So this is the first video of our Figma playlist, and in this video, we'll show you guys how can you create a Uber style navigation. So let's suppose you are creating an app like an Uber in Figma, and you want to build a navigation. You can learn how to do that by watching this video. Make sure to watch this video completely to learn tips and tricks in Figma, and don't forget to. Comment in the video below and subscribe this channel. Turn on the bell notification so you can keep watching our latest videos and features, which we'll be releasing soon. So, without further ado, let's get into the screen to learn some Figma. Hi guys, welcome back to Websense Pro. I'm your co-host Nida Sheikh. Today, in this video, I'll be making a navigation menu in Figma. I'll show you how to build a website navigation bar with a drop-down menu using Figma. So, let's start with the tutorial now. First of all, on the Google Chrome, if you want to use the web version of Figma, all you need to do is you need to type Figma here. And here, the first one says the Figma, the collaborative interface design tool. Open it. Okay, so all you need to do is log in with your account here. I've opened it with my account here. You guys can see that. Now here, you can go for draft. I'll just show you how you can make this nav menu in Figma. Okay, so here you can see frames. You need to choose the frame first. Okay, let's choose the desktop version only. This is the desktop version. What I'll do is I'll choose here a rectangle. Okay, from the left side and just choose a rectangle here. Okay, let's give it some color. Okay, we'll give it some black color. We'll duplicate it for duplication. What you need to press is Control plus T. Okay. So here you can see we have two rectangles here. For the second rectangle, I'll change its weight to 1280 and align it to the center here. Okay, so let's change its color so that it's visible. Okay, so this is the container where we'll be working on. Okay, so let's add some text here. Okay, so here I'll add my text here. Okay, so I'll be making a nav menu for Uber. Okay, and here uh, the size should be 24. Okay, guys, so here you can see Uber. Now you need to duplicate it. All you need to do is press Ctrl D here and drag it wherever you want. Okay, like this. This is for the company. Okay, again, we'll do the same thing. And Control D, drag it. Okay, so we have written all the nav menu text here. Now we'll be making an icon. We need an icon for EN. Okay. So let's draw that. Okay, we'll choose an ellipse here. Okay, like this. And we'll duplicate it. Okay. Okay, now we need a line. Okay, let's zoom it first so that we can easily draw the line in between them. Okay, so this is our first icon which we have drawn here. Okay, so now let's just remove the fillings here. Okay, like this, select this. 
Okay. Till none. Okay, so from here, we'll select the ellipse first and remove the fills here. And then, so, okay, so we have removed the filling here. Now, select this. Okay, and press Command G. Okay, so we have make a group of it and you can place it anywhere you want or we'll reduce its size first. And then this is our icon. Place it with like this. Okay, and then afterwards we'll be doing the settings of this menu. So now I'll make an icon for the product. What I need to do is I need to select this here and a rectangle. Okay, so this is our rectangle here. Let's give it some stroke. Okay, again, what we need to do is we'll press Command D here. Drag it like this. Again, press Command D. And here we have three such options. Okay, let's select all the three here. Press Command D and place it like this here again press command d here and drag it like this okay so the 27 okay then again we'll do some groupings here control g and let's Adjust it accordingly. Set its position and the direction. Okay, so the product icon is ready. Okay, so now I'll make an icon for the login. What I'll do is from the left side select an ellipse here. Okay, let's draw the icon. Now, from the right side, give it some curve. Okay, like this. Okay, so I'll double tick this line here, which I want to delete and okay, so this is left. Okay, now we'll select the ellipse and the rectangle board and align it to the center here. Okay, so our icon is ready. We can also change its color to white. So that when we take it to up, upward, it looks beautiful. Okay, now we'll select our icon here. Press Command G. Okay, and drag it here. Okay, let's do the adjustment now. Okay, so now we need to make an icon here for the company. We need to make an icon. We'll draw one line here like this. 53.26. Okay, and again...
okay so we have an our icon ready for this as well we'll change its color okay so first select this make it a group command g okay reduce its size first Okay guys, now I'm coming towards the size of the text for Uber, it's 24 regular, okay, this is okay, we'll select the rest, okay, and from here, I'll change its size to 12 and medium from the right side, okay, this looks good. Let me zoom it so that it's clear. Okay, we'll do the adjustment here. Okay, so we have done the adjustment of the size. Okay, guys, now you can see that the text is adjusted. Now we need to put hover effect on the company. For that purpose, from the right side, choose a rectangle here and just draw it on the company and on the icon here. Like this. Okay. Let's adjust it. Okay. Then what we need to do is we need to change the curves. Let's make it 19 here and fill the color with okay this looks good okay now you guys can see that the company and the icon is not visible for that purpose all you need to do is choose the company here and drag it on the top like this so you guys can see that the company is visible now now we have the icon which is in the name of group 4 icon is visible too now we need to do some adjustment here okay so let's do the adjustment okay guys so we have done adjustment for the company likewise if you have a particular spacing idea so you can do that what you need to do is you need to adjust it with equal spacing in between all of the text so we'll adjust this accordingly we'll measure the text and adjust it accordingly okay guys so now what i'll do is the over needs to be aligned to this line here so this is fixed now we need to move this here and place it like this okay company I can okay the company over is now perfectly aligned okay now we need to do the settings for safety what we can do is okay let's make it a group first press command G we need to duplicate this company here so we have duplicated it and move it this is done now we need to place safety here okay now safety is visible and we'll place it in between here like this and lower
okay so the gap between them is 33 again duplicate it okay and the text needs to be visible as well okay guys so now you guys can see that i have done some settings here and i am okay let me zoom first so that we can see it properly okay so i have aligned all the items the text here and like this and the space between these two and these two are same so you can do the settings on your own now what i'll do is i'll choose this and make sure this is just near to this line and this is near to this line okay so let's change the color to black now okay and let's change the text color as well for all of these to white let's change it okay so now i have changed the text color and the icon color to white other than this we want all of them to be none so we'll change its color to white and the text color to black okay let's change it to black so that it's visible okay so we don't want hover effect for all of them so i'll remove it and i'll leave hover effect for the company only okay guys so now you guys can see that we have equal distance from these two side we have hover effect for this and hover effect for the sign up option and the rest of the icons are visible let me zoom it okay so if you want any other adjustment you can make it it is very similar to what we plan to do okay now what i'll do is i'll make a drop down menu for the company okay so for the that purpose what i have to do is i have to draw a rectangle here okay so now what i'll do is i'll choose the color to white here okay and the desktop color for now i can change the desktop color so that it's easy for us to see okay let's change the color okay so this is visible now what i'll do is i'll choose a rectangle here inside this box okay and what I'll do is I'll add some text here. Okay, what I'll do is I'll duplicate it and place it like this here for the second drop down option. Okay, again duplicate it and again duplicate it. okay let's change the color of the box to white so this is going to be easy for us to choose the direction okay let's add the text here okay so this is how i named it about us how is global and blog okay so this is how you can make the drop down menu this is the final let's choose fit to screen and this is the final look of what navigation menu we have made along with the drop down menu okay so you can see 
this is so beautiful and we are near to what uber has made on their official website i hope you like my tutorial if you want more such videos please don't forget to subscribe my channel hit the like button and comment below so that i can make more such videos for you okay bye bye